Why are you so overweight when my son is skinny? You must be eating all the food yourself. And I bet you were not even letting my son have any. Can you leave the living room without dinner? You're irritating me. These kinds of harassment from my mother in law and husband began just as we were nearly weds. Having reached my limit, one day I decided to turn the table and retaliate against my husband's plan. I am Rosie, 30 years old, and I met my husband Morgan at work. We dated for two years and got married two months ago. I'm enjoying the newlywed life. Being able to call him my husband and adjusting to our new home. By the way, I became a housewife at his request when we got married. I imagine having a child with Morgan every day and can't wait for it to happen. However, one weekend, my husband suddenly said to me, Rosie, you've been dressing too casually lately, don't you think? And you don't even try to dress up, you know? I was taken aback and said, Is that so? Well, maybe compared to when we were a dating couple. Even so, every morning, I would get ready and put on light makeup and style my hair before my husband woke up. Even this outfit I was wearing was a trendy dress, but it didn't seem that way to my husband. I wondered if he was in a bad mood. A few days later, I remembered what he said before and wore a dress that showed off my figure, hoping he would finally compliment me since he was off that day. But as I was vacuuming in the hallway, my husband came out of his room and sighed and said, Hey, have you been putting on some weight lately? Maybe it's just because you were lousing around the house all day. Huh? Really? I've been watching my diet, and I've been using my body a lot, doing chores, you know. When I retorted, my husband unexpectedly replied with harsh words. What? Have you ever looked at yourself in a mirror? Not just your weight. You've become so sloppy just a few months into our marriage. You're just indulging yourself and being lazy. Suddenly, my husband said something that didn't apply to me, and I was speechless. Morgan, what's wrong? You weren't the type of person to say something like that, were you? Shut up. I'm sick of seeing you being so sloppy. After muttering that, my husband deliberately slammed the door with a loud bang, leaving me and the vacuum cleaner alone in the cold, silent hallway. Has he always been like this? Or was it because I gained weight? I couldn't fully comprehend the situation. When I pinched my belly, there was certainly some fat there. Perhaps I had gained more weight than I thought. I never thought that I would feel so miserable in just a few months of married life. My husband, who used to be kind, suddenly changed his attitude to a self-important one, which left me feeling sad and confused. After that, my husband and mother-in-law began a double act of slander and harassment. My mother-in-law lives nearby and comes to stay frequently to the point where it could be considered living together. Rosie is indulging herself with my money. Rosie is slacking off on the housework. Rosie doesn't care about her appearance. Both of them are so vicious that I can't even begin to imagine why they would tell such ridiculous lies. My husband often comes home late from work and spending time with my mother-in-law is just painful. My mother-in-law even harasses me whenever we pass each other in the hallway, on the stairs, or anywhere in the house. Because of your weight, the living room is getting smaller, you know? You are so overweight. Why is it that my son is so skinny? You must be eating all the food yourself. And I bet you're not even letting my son have any. 
No matter how much I tried to argue, I get ignored, and only her son's words matter. During meals, my food is often taken away from me. Do you really need this meal, Rosie? Can you leave the living room? You are irritating me. Every time I get harassed, I always think to myself that they are just in a bad mood today, and tomorrow we'll be on good terms again, and my husband will be on my side. I kept telling myself that. However, my husband has been ignoring me more and more when I try to talk to him since then. He doesn't even greet me in the morning or at night. I try my best to keep talking to him, but since the day we stopped sleeping in the same room, we lost our communication. The only communication we had was his constant belittling of me, and it made me increasingly anxious about our life together. Despite this, I thought I had to repair our relationship and mustered up the courage to talk to my husband. Hey, Morgan. It is tough being ignored like this. How much longer are we going to live like this? What? Because I only talk to decent people. I don't want to be seen as someone who has an overweight wife like you. If you want to talk to me, lose some weight first. Got it? As expected, I got angry and argued back. What's wrong with you? Sure. I might have gained a few pounds, but it's only a few. Why do you have to say things like that? When I said that, my husband yelled back at me. Don't even talk anymore. After my husband's one word, the conversation ended forcibly. From then on, no matter how much I tried to talk to him, he wouldn't answer me at all. I'm not treated as a proper person in this house. And I don't even know why. Maybe that's just his true nature. In the end, is my husband just like my mother-in-law, an enemy? I was starting to give up on our relationship. Several weeks later, I was gathering up leftovers in the kitchen. Oh, Rosie, are you already preparing dinner? My husband said that with a smile after not talking to me for a long time. Uh, huh? I'll make dinner for once. Huh? Oh,、uh, okay. I just nodded, afraid that saying something might upset him. Did something change in his feelings? No. There's no way he could suddenly be kind after pushing me away like that. Rosie, you haven't been eating much lately, have you? It might just be in front of me, but I feel sorry for you. So, I'll make my specialty dish for you today. It was the first time since that day that my husband spoke to me, and I sat quietly in the living room, waiting for him to work in the kitchen. Thirty minutes later, he brought the dish he made to the table. It was a dish of chili beans, with separate portions for each of the three of us. They looked similar. But I immediately sensed that something was off. Oh, we need more spoons. I carefully observed the chili beans that were served on my plate, while my husband went to get a spoon. Then, a pungent smell hit my nose, and I immediately knew what it was. I strongly felt that this was absolutely unacceptable. And I could feel my frustration and anger building up inside me. In that moment, I made a firm decision to get my revenge. Hey, Morgan, how about having some beer too? Yeah, that's a good idea. Beer goes well with chili beans. As my husband confidently turned his back and walked towards the fridge to get beer, I quickly swapped the plate in front of me and the other. Just then, as usual, my mother-in-law appeared, spewing her usual sarcastic comments, and sat in front of me. Rosie, why are you sitting before us? Who do you think you are, Mom? We're having chili beans for dinner tonight. Let's eat together.、Uh, oh, is that so? Well, let's have it then. 
prompted by her son. My mother-in-law obediently picked up her spoon. Meanwhile, I eagerly started devouring the dish that my husband had prepared with a big smile on my face. It's delicious! You are a good cook, Morgan! My husband seemed completely stunned by the situation. Aren't you going to eat, Morgan? It's really delicious, you know? Oh, but if I eat all of this, I might gain weight. While my husband was panicking, finally my mother-in-law moved the spoon and put chili beans in her mouth. At that moment, she blew the food out of the mouth. My husband became even more confused. My mother-in-law continued to cough and screamed. <laughs> hey, Rosie, it, this, what the heck is this? It, it hurts. My mother-in-law slammed the plate on the table and tried to grab me. So I told her, oh, I didn't make this. Your son did. The fact that her son cooked dinner who barely does any housework must have been a surprise to her. My mother-in-law looked at my husband with a red face. My husband seemed to be trembling as he looked down. I slammed the table and leaned close to my husband's face with an intimidating attitude. Morgan, you used this, right? This famous death sauce, I said while holding up the bottle of the sauce. The sauce is said to be 100 times spicier than Tabasco. I had bought it out of curiosity, but it was too spicy that it was hard for a normal person to handle. I had thrown it away earlier, and my husband happened to find it and mixed it with the chili beans that he gave me. Regardless, this prank went too far beyond what was acceptable and it could have sent us to the hospital if things went wrong. My mother-in-law was sobbing wild tears and snot ran down her face. So, what exactly is going on here, Morgan? Stop joking around and explain it to me. I demanded an explanation from my husband while pressuring him. Well, you see, it's because you've gained weight. So I thought, that if I added the sauce to our meals and made you sweat a lot, your metabolism would increase and you would lose weight. My husband sat with a ridiculous reason while trembling. Hey, I don't understand what you're saying. Are you crazy or something, dear? As I approached him, he tried to defend himself, but I interrupted. Oh, so what is this thing? My husband looked at what I had handed him and his eyes widened. There was a package with some insect drawing on it. It was a pack called Mixed Bugs, which contained ants, grasshoppers, caterpillars, crickets, and silkworms. This is already opened, isn't it? You know that I hate insects, right? Did you happen to mix it in my food? Is this also a prank, Morgan? Is it? Well, that's... Um. Maybe you've been mixing it into my food all this time? I asked my husband, moving my face closer to his. If you bought this mixed bugs yourself, why don't you try eating it and prove that it will help you lose weight, huh? I slammed the mixed bugs onto the table and continued. But, unfortunately, I often skip dinner lately, you know? Because your mother took it away from me. Huh? That means... Yes. You've been feeding your mother insect dishes all this time. My husband and mother-in-law grew increasingly pale at my words. Did you really think that I who have been scorned so much until now, which suddenly told, I'm going to cook for you today, and that I would eat it willingly? When I slammed the table again, my husband flinched and started to panic. By the way, 
Don't think that crying will solve everything. If you were a normal human being, you wouldn't go this far. Then I turned to my mother in law and said, Even if he's your son, it's wrong for you as a parent to harass someone together. There was no more words to say to either of them. The living room became incredibly tense, and I connected my words to the final chapter of this story. May I ask you something, Morgan? Since this is the end, can you tell me everything honestly? Huh? The, the end? My husband made a strange voice, but I continued. It's come to this, so tell me the real reason. Was I getting in your way? Why did your attitude suddenly change? That's because I thought you had savings from when you were single. But it seems like you don't. And I was just annoyed that you had gained some weight. I was deeply angry at Morgan's childish words. <sighs> All right, that's enough. I've had enough. I have no place here, so let's get a divorce. Then I started packing my things into a large suitcase so that I could leave. Even the divorce papers I had just picked up were already being put to use. I'm going back to my parents' house. I can't stay here anymore, and I don't want to. Rosie? Are you really going through with the divorce? I mean, I didn't mean for this to happen. My husband started to panic even more, but it was too late. No, no. If you are a decent person, you should have seen this coming. Please accept it. Considering what you did as a human being. Then my husband took a plate that was in front of his mother and started eating the chili beans while screaming incomprehensibly. Although it wouldn't be strange if he had burned a hole in his stomach, he ate it all. He wasn't a normal person after all. While my husband was screaming and crying, I continued to talk towards the finale. Is it supposed to be an earnest effort? I don't think you realize it, but you haven't even apologized yet. I've been making a claim for property division, so be prepared for it. The two of them were shocked by my unexpected attitude, and I left with the packed suitcase and never returned. I went back to my parents' house, and the divorce went through smoothly. Coincidentally, a friend of mine worked at the same workplace as my ex husband, and the story of our divorce became a rumor in the company. I heard that my ex husband was isolated at work as a result. I also heard that my ex mother in law was traumatized by her son's cooking and that their relationship was strained. It's been a few years since then. All right, I need to build up my stamina. The more nutrition I take, the better it will be for the baby. Well, you shouldn't gain too much weight, though. But hey, why don't we go out and eat something delicious today? As he says this, he smiles kindly at me. He is my true destiny. My first marriage ended unexpectedly, but that's why I am truly grateful to have met my current husband. I love him for accepting me for who I am. Without any pretense. And to add more excitement to my happy daily life, a new life has begun to grow inside me. Rubbing my stomach, I headed for the all you can eat restaurant with my beloved husband. <laughs>